Okay, so we're continuing our exploration, I guess. <gasps> Dear me, can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Pavelio. And uh, it's a tad late, because... I kind of forgot, and also I was busy with other things, so... Mm, let's see... Mm. Okay, I already did that, so... Revelia. What am I doing? Over here, I guess, then? Revelio. It warms my heart to see your interest in pathology, dare I say. Pavelio. Oh, did I go back to the beginning by accident? <laughs> okay. Let's try again. There she is. Revelia. This isn't as precarious as it looks. Yep, probably is. An intruder! Pavelio! No, not... Uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin! <laughs> that was funny. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Maybe it's not supposed to. What was that? Was that a golden snitch? 
Perhaps you should summon Revenience. your and find out. <laughs> Revelio. I can get it. Revelio. Who's the way to get there? I hope that house elf can find us in here. Come to you. It's gonna fall into you. Uh, 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 okay. Hello. Ah, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered Very this room there. together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. 
The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Dick thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Okay, so... X, X... X X squared. Try and watch. Okay. X. Hey. <laughs> Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? 
Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. Okay. So, I guess... This one on the side. Um, that's all we have already. Conjuring spell. So we'll use this one. Okay. So where should I put it? Yeah, this is a question. Maybe. This is... Oh, I think Small eclectic. I'm not really sure what the difference is. I guess just a design. Let's go for the center. Oh, yes. This is okay for it. Mm. So, um, yeah. oh. Let's see if we get to take a picture.
Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have, and seems to know it's every nook, cranny, and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready, but again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic, but the room of requirement has its own rules. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Actually, time to stop. Actually, so yes, so we'll end it there for, for this session, I guess. So sorry, it's a bit late. I mean, it's very, very late. Apparently, it's eleven fifteen, and I still need to uh, put it through my editor thing so I can lower the the size of the file. So thank you for watching, and see you next time.